Right, I'm going to keep this intro pretty short because uh, I think I'm getting sick and uh, my throat hurts and I keep coughing. So um, that's amazing, isn't it? So this is part two of my Scott Sawtooth build. Um, if you haven't seen part one, it's linked just up above me here. And um, we talk a bit more about kind of like, well, we just start a build basically. And uh, today's video was going to be... And it's why it's a day late, so anybody that was waiting for it to be yesterday, the reason it wasn't yesterday was because uh, London's had uh, a, a massive amount of snow, and I was planning on taking it out yesterday, or the day before, and going for some riding and getting some load of ride footage, and I just didn't in the end. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you do know that I did take a different bike out, and there will be a snow edit with that bike. Um, but yeah, so I was waiting for that, and then my son's sick, I think I'm getting sick. So it's just, it's a day late. So, but we're here now, so let's do this. I mean, I could keep waffling on or we could just start the build. So um, let's start the build. All right then, let's uh, get back to this. This is where I left you at the end of the last video. We were putting on the wheels and uh, these Billy Monkers. I'm putting V-brakes on this bike. Uh, it obviously would have came with uh, cantilevers, but uh, I quite like V-brakes. Uh, these ones are Shimano somethings. I don't remember the exact name of them, uh, so check out uh, the links below. I had these wheels on the Mirage, so there was a little bit of play on them, so they were rubbing a little bit, so I had to give them a bit of a tweak and straighten them out a bit. Uh, but apart from that, they were golden. At this point, I uh, got a little bit of a visitor. This guy's actually been sleeping under my shed where I keep my bikes. And uh, I scared him when I was looking for handlebars. The shifter is the X3 uh, SRAM. It matches the Derelia, the eight speed one and uh, the brakes are avid. Uh, the seat post, as we know, is from uh, earlier on, is from the original build. And uh, just pop the charge on it. At this point, I was actually dying to just get on it. It looks really, really good. Um, but I nearly always forget to do this when I build the frame back up. Uh, but the little cable guide that goes on the bottom of the bottom bracket um, just goes in here. I always forget to put that back on, so uh, I also often lose them, to be fair. The chain is from the Specialized, I think it was. Um, so it's not actually, it turns out to be like one link too short. Um, I thought I had a brand new chain to put on this bike, but I didn't. So this one has barely been used, so it'll be absolutely fine. Unfortunately, like I said, it's slightly too short, but as you can see, it'll be all right. I mentioned in the last video that I actually moved the chain ring back to the outside of the, uh, the crank. Uh, and you can see from this, like the chain line's nearly perfect. I'd definitely say on that big cog on the back, it's a little bit of a stretch, um, but this is for commuting in London. I'll barely ever use that gear, so it should be fine. I actually got a fresh set of pedals for this bike for a change. These are Nuke Proof uh, pedals. I've used the same set of pedals for most of my bikes for years now. Um, really like them, super light, super comfy, nice and wide. Next was onto the cabling. Uh, I wanted to use some bright color, so I went for pink. Doesn't quite match, I thought about orange, um, but uh, the orange was faded to one side, so pink it is. There's probably an exact way and correct way of doing this, um, but my rule of thumb is a nice looking bend. You don't want it to kind of go just straight to it. Um, and also once you've got it on there is to kind of like move it around to make sure it kind of fits quite nicely with a bit of movement and doesn't like kind of stretch too much. Pro tip uh, for the little plastic tubing inside, use a little pick, make sure that is nice and open so you don't wear out the cables. Uh, ooh, ripped a glove. Um, this cable here, I wasn't 100% sure if it was actually gonna be okay because it's meant to go on the drive side uh, when it was cantilevers, uh, but uh, after I put the cable in, the actual movement was quite smooth. It didn't feel like it was rubbing or pulling too much. Uh, so I think I got away with it.
when I put this derailleur on the Mirage, some people said that the cable was too short and needed to be bent more. Um, if you look at the manufacturer guides for this derailleur, it doesn't want it to kind of be this sort of length. Uh, and when you move it, the derailleur around, it seems pretty solid. So I think it's fine. Because this wheel and derailleur setup was all on a different bike, once I had the tension right, it shifted kind of perfectly straight away. Result. A friend of mine commented the other day, said he said I was weird for having a bottle cage on a nice bike. Where do you think I'm going to put my bottles? These are DMR Death Grips. I've used these on a couple of builds now and I'm really into them. You can also get these cuffs that, uh, or the collars that go on the grips and change colors to match your build. Uh, we've got a few purple spots on this bike so purple felt like it was the right color. Um, and I had the glittery black ones again. Um, these are the thick ones and I think they're soft. You have firm or soft. Um, but these ones, yeah, I'm really into them. Super comfy. And then last thing is to put the pedal back on. Cool, and that's the bike built. And um, before I kind of show you it, um, there's a couple of things I want to mention. Uh, number one is I said in the last video about um, missing a spacer. Uh, someone commented, I can't remember who it was, so I do apologize. I'll put the, the comment right here. Um, but uh, they suggested it was the, um, the hanger that would have gone there. They're 100% right, that's exactly what it was. Um, I obviously don't need the hanger because I'm doing V-brakes, so, and I just forgot I had it. So that's exactly what it was. Um, the other thing is, um, Billy Bonkers. Turns out they're very good on ice. So I took the bike over the road near me, which you'll see in a moment, um, to take some nice shots of it and to make it look cool. And um, on the way back, I was slipping so much in my trainers um, that I noticed that the bike was kind of holding me up. So for the last few meters, I rode it. I was gonna film it, but I didn't really trust myself doing it one-handed. Um, but the, the Billy Bonkers had so much grip on the ice, so when I mentioned in the last video, or I've said it a few times in the past, Billy Bonk is a great winter tyre. That's as winter as it gets. So yes. But anyway, let's take a look at the bike. And that's that, that brings us to an end of another video and another build. Uh, this one I am extremely excited about. Um, I've not really managed to ride it properly yet, but sitting on it, it feels super, super comfortable. I definitely think this is one I'm gonna keep for a while and I'm probably gonna use it quite a lot as well. Um, on that note, because I haven't really shown any ride footage or haven't shown too much of the actual bike itself, um, there will be a part three or four if you count the teacup video, which if you haven't seen that, it's that one very interesting if you want to know how to restore paint on bikes i'm going to do another video we'll take it for a ride i'll tell you how it's doing and um yeah share some information but i don't know what day it will be on but i'm going to release the snow ride video very soon um i have a christmas theme video coming next week as well and uh i have quite a few exciting projects in the pipe works um not only just bike builds but also some products that uh i've been sent that we're going to talk about um and uh another e-bike that's all i'm going to say for now about that and um yeah let's call it um oh also i have four of these stickers but left these are the ones i'm putting in for free if you buy stickers on my website right now the website is here um any stickers you buy you can buy one sticker you'll get one of these for free but there is literally four left um so uh hopefully there's still some left when you uh when you see this if not um 
I'm going to be throwing some more free stickers in for the next couple of weeks anyway, so uh, you'll get a summit. So uh, yeah, pick up a sticker, have a look what's going on. And that's that. If you want to uh, watch another video though, whilst you're waiting for the next, uh, this one is a particularly good one. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And um, like, comment, and all that good stuff. So uh, see you later.